The world of big cats has always captivated the human imagination. From the mighty lion reigning over the African savanna to the stealthy leopards slinking through the shadows of dense jungles, these apex predators have inspired awe and fear in equal measure. But among these fearsome felines, none have embodied the raw power and size of the tiger. Tigers, the largest of the big cats, have always held a special place in the animal kingdom. Their strength, agility, and sheer majesty set them apart. But today, we dive deeper into history to meet the king of all tigers. Imagine a creature that dwarfed the largest Siberian tiger that was faster, stronger, and more fearsome than any big cat alive today. This is the Nendong tiger, the largest tiger that ever walked the earth. To truly appreciate the Nendong tiger, we need to understand the extraordinary lineage it belonged to, the big cats, or more specifically, the Panthera genus. These majestic creatures are the ultimate hunters. Among them, tigers are the largest and most powerful. Modern tigers, like the Bengal and Siberian tigers, are formidable predators. The Bengal tiger can weigh up to 230 kilograms, and measure up to three meters from head to tail, making it one of the most feared predators in the wild. But as incredible as these modern tigers are, they pale in comparison to their prehistoric relative, the Nendong tiger. Living around 100,000 years ago in what is now Southeast Asia, this massive predator ruled the forests and plains of ancient Java, Indonesia. It wasn't just big, it was colossal. Standing around four meters in length from head to tail and weighing close to 450 kilograms, the Nendong tiger was nearly double the size of the Bengal tigers we see today. Imagine facing off against a creature of that magnitude. It was a tiger in every sense of the word, but on a scale so grand it's hard to fathom. Our journey into the past begins with the discovery of ancient fossils. In the 1930s, paleontologists working along the Solo River in the Nendong region of Java uncovered something remarkable, a set of bones that didn't belong to any ordinary predator. These fossils, later identified as belonging to the largest tiger species ever, were key to understanding this long extinct giant. The fossils told a story of an animal that was not only larger, but also more robust than any tiger known today. Its skull was thicker, its jaw more powerful. What these fossils revealed was not just the sheer size of the Nendong tiger, but also its dominance during the Pleistocene epoch. The Nendong tiger lived during a time when Southeast Asia was home to an incredible array of megafauna, giant animals that roamed the forests and plains. Elephants, rhinoceroses, water buffalo and deer populated the landscape, and the Nendong tiger ruled as their apex predator. But it wasn't just the size of its prey that defined the Nendong tiger's role in the ecosystem, it was its adaptability. Fossil evidence suggests that this tiger was well equipped to hunt a variety of animals, from large herbivores to smaller, more agile prey. But what made the Nendong tiger such a formidable predator? For starters, its size alone was intimidating. At over four meters in length from head to tail and standing taller at the shoulder than today's tigers, this animal was a giant in every sense. But its size wasn't its only advantage. The Nendong tiger had proportionally longer legs than modern tigers, suggesting it was built for speed. While modern tigers are known for their stealth and ambush tactics, this tiger may have been capable of running faster over short distances, making it an even more efficient hunter in open habitats like grasslands or sparse woodlands. Its skull was larger and thicker than that of modern tigers, and its jaws packed an incredible punch. The teeth were larger too, with long, powerful canines designed to slice through the flesh of large prey. This wasn't a cat that relied on finesse. 
It used brute force to bring down its targets, overpowering animals that would be too dangerous or too large for today's tigers. Comparing its skull to a Bengal tiger's, it becomes clear that the Nendong tiger was in a class of its own. Larger, stronger and faster, it was an apex predator that had adapted perfectly to dominate its environment. But even a predator as massive and powerful as the Nendong tiger had competition. The Pleistocene epoch was a time of great evolutionary experimentation. It wasn't the only carnivore prowling the ancient jungles of Southeast Asia. Saber-toothed cats like Megantherion also roamed the land, as did massive hyenas capable of scavenging or even hunting large prey. The Nendong tiger would have had to contend with these formidable adversaries. These weren't just small scuffles. The fight for survival was intense, as food was scarce at times. In such a competitive environment, the Nendong tiger's sheer size and power gave it an advantage, but it wasn't invincible. Saber-toothed cats had their own set of deadly tools, and competition for the same prey meant that every hunt carried risks. And on top of that, another competitor was beginning to emerge, one that would forever alter the course of history. Early humans, equipped with primitive tools and weapons, were starting to spread across Southeast Asia during the late Pleistocene. Unlike other prey, humans were intelligent, organized, and increasingly dangerous to the Nandong tiger. As humans learned to hunt large game, they too became competitors, not just for prey, but for territory. So, if the Nandong tiger was so well adapted, why did it disappear? The answer lies in a combination of factors, none more significant than climate change. As the Pleistocene epoch drew to a close, the Earth's climate began to shift dramatically. Ice ages came and went, altering habitats and shrinking the range of many species. For a predator as large as the Nendong tiger, which relied on an abundance of large prey, these environmental changes spelled disaster. The large herbivores that once roamed the land began to disappear, and with them went the Nendong tiger's primary food sources. As the environment changed, so did the balance of power in the ecosystem. Humans, who were now more organized and technologically advanced, began to have a profound impact on the landscape. With fire, weapons and a growing population, humans not only competed with the Nendong tiger for food, but actively hunted it, seeing this massive predator as both a threat and a resource. By the end of the Pleistocene, around 10 to 12,000 years ago, the combination of climate change, habitat loss and increased human activity had driven the Nendong tiger to extinction. It was the end of an era, a giant felled not by a single event, but by a gradual series of pressures that even the largest tiger in history couldn't withstand. Though the Nendong tiger no longer roams the forests of Southeast Asia, its legacy is preserved in the fossil record and in the story of the Earth's prehistoric past. It was a giant, a ruler in its time, but even giants can fall. Today, its modern relatives, the Bengal, Siberian and Sumatran tigers, are a reminder of the incredible evolutionary history that shaped the world of big cats. If you want to learn more about other giants of the past, make sure to check out my video on the biggest and most terrifying bear that ever existed. Thank you for watching and I will see you there.